Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Um, I'm currently doing a hair mask, a face mask, drinking some water, feeling very fresh. Um, You know when you drink so much caffeine in hopes that it inspires you to work out, and then it just kind of makes you want to, like, take a nap? Like, why does that happen? Like, your body's like, stop. (laughs) Like, I was like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go... I'm gonna drink this little coffee, I'm a little cold brew. I'm gonna drink this oxy shred. I'm gonna like go work out, and then I was just like, no, ew. Um, yeah, recently, this isn't even something I planned to really talk about, but recently I've been not wanting to work out. <laughs> like, sometimes I'm like, fuck yeah. I mean, not all the time, like, but just more, more than usual. I have days where I'm like, I don't feel like going to the gym, and I don't know if it's working out or just going to the gym and having to like. <laughs> deal with people i retweeted this tweet that was like literally let me see if i can find it i mean you probably saw it if you follow me on twitter but like dude just like what's with guys being so annoying in the gym (laughs) a subject very familiar to my (laughs) brand um oh yeah it was like woman enters the gym with headphones on starts workout immediately avoids eye contact with anyone and then five random dudes if it's attention she wants it's attention she's gonna get so yeah that's great sometimes just don't want to deal with people and uh, you know speaking it into existence i want to have a house and i want to have a full gym with everything that i want and good lighting and mirrors and everything and no one's allowed to go in except me and my friends that's what i want like i have an apartment gym which is great i actually go there a lot because usually i'm the only one but it doesn't have everything i want so You know, anyone, if you, especially if you are a woman and you are going to the gym, props to you. Because it's really fucking, not only, like, sometimes it's scary, but it's just, like, annoying. Okay. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great start to August. I'm feeling a little quaked, for sure. Time's going by so fast, and... I think I've talked about this in the past couple podcasts, but, you know, this is a time of transformation with Mercury being in re- Mercury, Mercury, Mercury being retrograde and the lunar eclipse and all of this stuff. Like if you are feeling kind of like, I don't know, uncomfortable or like realizing a lot of maybe negative things about yourself or your life and like it's just like bringing awareness like shedding light on things that you need to change and especially with mercury retrograde it's such a time to get rid of the old like if you feel like going through your closet going through your old shit like i went through my fridge got rid of old stuff um it's really a time to do all of that and also like not only with physical clutter and physical stuff but also mental clutter emotional clutter things that maybe have been building up that are putting a strain on your on your life and your full potential so it's really time to go through all of that so i guess just i know i've i've said this in videos and in the past few podcasts like i said but um if you're feeling that kind of feeling just know that you're not alone and yeah it's very chill um yeah transformation it's just so crazy because it's so it's just so easy to forget how far you've come and if you think back to the beginning of this year like probably so much i know for me like so many things like random little things or people i've met or just like random shit that i didn't anticipate (laughs) fucking happened anyway and that's just like life but i don't know i just love reflecting and like thinking like wow i really didn't know this is what would happen six you know six months ago i didn't know this would happen so then it also makes you it makes me excited for like six months from now like where am i gonna be who am i gonna be hanging out with you know (laughs) so that's just really exciting and also another thing (laughs) but i was thinking of this especially in regards to relationships because you guys know like i made a podcast about trust issues and just things like that and one of the things that i kind of realized is that even though in the past i feel like i've been not even just with like relationships too but just in life like with just any sort of relationship um i feel like i've been taken advantage of or this or that or you know you can apply this to anything you at this point like in all your past experiences you didn't know everything that you know now so it kind of for me realizing that kind of changed my perspective because it allowed me to to realize like, okay, I don't have to bring all of these past issues into my current situation or into the future because I didn't have the tools and the awareness and the experience that I do now back then. Like back then I was like a fresh verge, didn't know anything. And now 
I went through experiences. Again, you can relate this to any sort of anything, like relationships or like, I don't know, anything that you want. Like you didn't, you didn't know what you know now. Um, so I think that's kind of fresh, fresh and fun. <laughs> and it just, I don't know, it makes me more excited to experience things. And it takes some of the fear away because it's like, you're not going to go through the exact same situation again. I mean, you can if you, if you subconsciously are like putting yourself through that again. You know, if you don't learn from something and take away a, where, take away a lesson. Oh, it's 11-11. Oh, I wish for a dick and money, bitch. Okay. Um, you know, you maybe you'll keep attracting the same people until you learn a certain lesson or change something about how you're dealing with something. You know what I mean? Self-fulfilling prophecies, y'all. Um, it's like if you believe you are something, that's what you're going to attract. So that's why people have it. You can't have the tendency to like, attract the same type of person into your life over and over and you're like why does this keep happening like why is this the only person that exists this type of person and it's just kind of because you haven't really like learned a certain lesson or I don't know I'm I hope I'm explaining this how I want to explain it but Mm -hmm. nothing like a little hydration um but yeah um, but if you realize that you've learned, you've already been through this, so not you can't go through the exact same experience again. Moving on, you know? So that's been really helpful for me mentally. And yeah, just like learning. Learning shit. Sony actually said, I tweeted this, she was like, we've learned so much from not going to school. And it's like so true. And obviously, like, that's not to discredit anyone who is going to school. Obviously, you learn so much in a different way. But just like with life and with our businesses and everything, like, I don't know. It's, it's just like crazy how much you learn from random bullshit, you know? So that's fun. That's why I think, I'd always, I always say this, but like I think journaling is so important and just reflecting and like remembering, like writing down your current mindset so that you can remember and like go back to it and appreciate how far you've come, you know? Um, also, this is kind of kind of uh, it's kind of off topic but <laughs> have y'all seen um the new season of orange is the new black i just watched the first episode of the new season last night and bitch i'm shook like i really i was like so into the first couple seasons what season are we even on i don't know um and then i stopped watching for a while and then i just like got bored on netflix i didn't have anything to watch and i was like i guess i never finished that so i finished that and then i had to wait like until the new season came out and I'm kind of like reinvested. I don't know. I used to be super into it, but then like it just kind of changed and got kind of like, uh. but now I'm invested and it's like, I want to know what happens, but it's such a stressful show. Like I really have to be in the right mindset to watch it. And I really try to not watch it before bed because like literally last night it wasn't even right before bed, but it was like, like Sonia was like here live streaming. So then I went into the other room and I was just like watching that. And then like, uh, just to tell you the timing like then she left i took a shower and i went to bed so it, was, it wasn't right right before bed but still all my dreams were like that i was in prison and then like some of the characters were there and like all this random shit that's this it's just like such an intense show um i remember that with like breaking bad too like i would watch before bed and like all my dreams would be like related to it but it's like good but yeah, I don't know. Please don't spoil it for me, bitch. <laughs> one of my friends was like, I watched it all in one day. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> um, but I've really been enjoying that. Um, I'm really also excited for Insecure. That's like the best show ever. Like I like realistic shows about like real issues and like real, like, I don't know. Like I like a little drama, a little sex, a little like drugs. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I just, I'm not really into like fantasy shows or like, I don't know, super, like, unrealistic. Like, I like realistic, like, day-to-day problems. Like, Insecure is the perfect show. I think also that's why I like The Office so much, because it's, like, just, like, realistic, like, day-to-day lives of people. Like, I find that so fascinating. But, yeah, if you haven't seen Insecure, it's, like, it's just, like, the perfect show. And it's set in L.A., and, like, there's, like, places that I know, and it's, like, bitch, it's just so good. Um, Yeah, let me know in a comment. What is your favorite, like, current show? What do people even watch? Like, I've I've never seen, like, 13 Reasons Why. I just, like, I don't care. Like, I hate high school shows. Like, it's, like, fuck off. Except the um, Secret Life of the American Teenager. That was definitely a fave for me back in the day. But I remember, like, 
Pretty Little Liars I never cared about. Gossip, I've never seen Gossip Girl ever. Like, I just don't care. Even though I guess those are kind of, like, realistic. I don't know. Are they? Like, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I love, I love a good adult relationship, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Same. Um, oh, my God. I also, well... Let me just talk about this briefly, but recently I have I have this great finesse opportunity. So I just want to talk about this because it's just like such a newfound finesse. Um, quick story time. I get a lot of messages on SoundCloud about like, oh, can you like repost my song or can you like add my song to your playlist? Like I have one playlist that like popped off randomly. I don't know who reblogged it and like suddenly like it gets reblogs and likes every single day. It's a random playlist from like 2016, 2015, 2016. Um, and so I get all these messages and sometimes emails even, and I always just kind of would disregard them and be like, whatever. And then like, I love a good Adam 22 content, anything like love. Like I think he's a genius theme, just like the variety of content he puts out and everything. So I was watching like some of his live streams and he's like, okay, like if you want to, have me play your song or like repost your song whenever like pay i think it's like a hundred dollars or something and then i was like wait like i I could do this like obviously not that much i don't have as many like followers so i just like tried it i like messaged back a bunch of these soundcloud bros and i was like okay yeah like i got cash app i got venmo i got paypal like sure and bitchy it worked (laughs) So I just feel very blessed and humbled to have this finesse. And I just think it's really great to like, it's like, this is such an opportunity. Why not take advantage of it? You know, SoundCloud bros get their little playlist ad, their little clout opportunity. I get my money opportunity. And yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was so simple yet so genius. And I'm like, wow, I really feel one with the SoundCloud community right now. I really feel like I'm like doing my part and having a good time um because you guys know like i would always complain like oh give me a shout out like oh my god these guys are so annoying like i'm not i don't care about your soundcloud but now it's like okay here are my rates <laughs> so just kind of like a tip and trick and it also just kind of reminds me of a a tweet that i retweeted like i mean it's kind of related but just i mean yeah how like girls charging for nudes it's like such a great finesse because it's like yeah we get asked all the fucking time so it's like yeah okay pay me pay me bitch (laughs) so you know i just i want you to take this awareness into your life and if there's ever a situation where i don't know what would be like this but you know what i mean if there's a demand for it bitch collect your coin and it's just like a great highlight of my week making money from soundcloud bros thank you um so great story time great content (laughs) um Something that I wish I could collect coin from, but (laughs) leading into a new topic, something I wish I could collect coin from, but unfortunately, um, it's kind of, it's more of an avoid situation, is men who use you for therapy. I cannot tell you how many times I've been hanging out with a guy, even a guy friend, or like a guy that I'm interested in, or anything, and they just want to talk about their problems. And it's like, I'm not your therapist. There's one thing, okay, there's one thing, like obviously if you're friends with someone or whatever, if you're in a relationship with someone, like, you should be able to open up and, like, talk about how you feel, but you should also, like, there's a difference between having a mutual kind of, like, open communication, open dialogue, and, like, being able to express yourself, and then just, like, putting all of your problems on someone, and not caring what they have to say, and basically using them as a therapist. It's, like, go to therapy, and I cannot tell you how many times, like, literally these exact words have been said to me by different dudes, why would I go to therapy when I can just talk to you? Like, faces and names are running through my head right now as I think of all the guys who have said this to me. Ne- a woman, a girl has never said that to me, ever. It's like, what the fuck? And I think it really just, I don't know. It's like, on one hand, I want to get mad at these dudes. And like, it's like, okay, yeah, on one hand, you should have awareness because not every guy is doing this. So like, obviously there's some that are, fucking not as fucking dumb and just like self-absorbed it's like you're not thinking about how i'm feeling at all all you care about is getting these emotions off which if you if we taught boys from a young age to express their emotions and to communicate 
clearly they wouldn't have all this pent up aggression and emotion and like shit so they wouldn't have to spill it all out at once on like usually a woman um and also it would if we taught men that it's okay to feel things there wouldn't be such a stigma around therapy because there already is a stigma around therapy or seeing a counselor or whatever but especially for men i think because it's like oh if you show emotion like fuck you bro you're going to therapy what you're a bitch you can't handle it so i think that's also fucked up but yeah so on one hand it's like i want to be mad and be like fuck you but on the other hand it's like okay it's kind of like patriarchy low-key because it's like you have to be a strong man patriarchy is not good for men either y'all like but yeah that's just so fucking like what do you do i've I've been trying to like think of things recently like what do i say because on one hand it's like i don't want to be rude because they they aren't even aware of what they're doing usually you know what i mean but you're can anyone else relate like i'm just sitting there and i'm like i don't care this isn't this doesn't apply to me i am not your therapist i don't have answers for you i'm sorry you're going through this but like go seek professional help at this point like i don't have anything to say and again if someone's just your your pal your bro and they're just like kind of telling you things and it's like oh yeah i feel like be there for your friends but like not to the point where it's like you literally feel emotionally drained and like you can't like you don't have anything to say and then they don't listen to you if you have anything to say like wow (laughs) it's a lot um but let me know in a comment can you relate and also hopefully there's a guy listening to this who's like wow maybe i should stop doing (laughs) maybe i should go to therapy (laughs) please go to therapy like i swear it'll bring you so much light it'll allow you to express your emotions you'll be happier um anyway so that's great Ooh, a little hydration really got me amped up this am Mm. but yeah so that's really annoying um but yeah, so these past, I think I tweeted a couple months ago, like, I'm gonna start tweeting whatever I want, you've been warned. And ever since then, I feel like my life has really been on, like, a, a sharp incline of just content. And I feel like I'm just able to express myself more. And it was actually a bro who was like, I was like, wow, sometimes I want to tweet stuff, but I'm just like, I don't know, it's too much. And he's like, that's the point of Twitter, just tweet it anyway. And I was like, wow fuck and i've really kind of tried to live my life by that ever since um sometimes i will send a a little tweet a little draft to sonia and be like is this too much if she tells me it's too much i know it's too much because she okays a lot of stuff <laughs> she's like yeah do it i'm like fuck okay so when she tells me no i'm like okay it's like probably too much to tweet about like i can't even think of something but just imagine the most inappropriate thing you ever can yeah <laughs> Um, I love the YouTube community tab. It's like you can post a photo and people can comment on it. Oh my God. I'm just going to troll. This is great. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the influx of content recently. I've b- really been enjoying doing the bullshit vlogs, the main channel vids, the podcasts, the podcast videos. I've been live streaming. That's been great. Yeah, it's just been, like, a lot of good content recently, and I feel inspired and, like, on the ball, and, like, we have new clothing line things coming soon. Uh, Thick feet uh, coming to you soon. So that's exciting, and I want to start learning how to, like... Dude, I just want to learn how to make beats, bro, like, so bad. But not even that. Like, I just really want to make mixes and put them on my SoundCloud. So that's something that I've kind of been trying to, like, learn how to do recently. Like, I just love, like, the Party Next Door OVO Sounds Radio mix. It's, like, my favorite thing. And I, there's not a lot of mixes like that that have that kind of mix of, like, like 90s R&B and then, like, current. You know what I mean? Like, there's just not, I haven't really found anything that I love as much as that. So I want to make shit like that. So I kind of have to, like, learn because it's fucking harder than it seems. And I know it's probably, once you know how to do it, it's, like, easy, but... That's something that I've kind of been thinking about, wanting to do, got some, you know, watching some tutorials. So maybe that's some new content. And I know you guys always ask me like about music and stuff and what I listen to when I work out and what I listen to when I fuck and like things like that. So um, it's just going to be a really great opportunity for me to share that. So if you guys have any, like, what's your favorite program? Like there's a lot of free ones on the app store. Lucky. But I'm just really trying to like immerse myself in the SoundCloud bro mindset and community. So thank you.
Um, anyway, that's kind of all I have to say. I hope you guys like the length of these podcasts. Ask me questions if you want them to be longer on my Tumblr or in a comment or whatever. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. It's been real. Again, let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, everyone.